Hello everyone, this is Fabio Santos from Freerun and today we're going to be looking into the spinning kick into Gumby Swing Through. Let's check it out. Nice guys, now that you have seen the video, pay attention on the position of the legs and arms, that will be a huge help for you before you do the move. Also, you don't necessarily need to know how to do the Gumby and the Kick the Moon already before you do this, but obviously, it will help you a lot. Okay, we're going to start with the kick, okay, I'm going to call it like round kick, but obviously, a lot of people call it different names. Okay, I'm going to be doing from kicking to my left, so we start with, we start with my left leg behind, so I have got a little bit of gap there to step into the kick, so that will give you a little bit more momentum. Okay, so from here, the first step going from that back leg, stepping in, bring the right leg behind, and start to spin. Before I kick the leg, it's important that I already be facing forward, okay? And I normally go onto my toes for this move to make sure I have got balance to kick straight into the gumby. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly demonstrate that, uh, that bounce there on the toes. So from here, step, so I go here on my toes to allow my leg to go the way around, a little bit sideways to go straight into my gummy. The second part is the gummy, okay? One big key point is the position of the hands. Try not to put your both hands straight away on the floor. Try to go first hand and allow yourself a little bit more time for the second hand to come in. So that you give more time for the legs go around and arch your back a little bit more and also get yourself on the right position to kick the leg through. Okay, I'm gonna just try to break down that position of the hands there for you. So we're gonna start with a normal cowl. You are not arching the back a lot so you can understand the position of the move. So starting from the left, going around, as I kick my leg, I'm gonna go into a normal cowl here. So first hand and give yourself time to put that second arm down. Okay? And with the hop, that will give you a little bit more momentum as well. So now I'm gonna try to kick in with the hop and arch my back a little bit more by moving my hands to the front. So as my leg coming around, I'm gonna bring my hand further forward and allow my heel to go a little bit more to my back by breaking my hips forward. And again, what's gonna allow me to do this is waiting to put the second arm, as you're gonna see now. So from here, step, kick, hop, and then kick. Okay? The kick there, you don't have much time to wait. Once you go through, when you put your second arm down, your leg will become with a low momentum and that you wanna use that momentum. But wait as much as you can, that leg go through, up, before you start to do your kicking move. A lot of people as well, some people block with their arms, as you see on the video, I don't necessarily block with my arms, I just bring my chest up and use the momentum of the leg to go around. So this is, you can adapt your own style, Feel free, I'm gonna try to do the kick, the gumby, and the swing through without the, the flip so you can see where that my leg will go, okay? So from here, that's when my leg will go through. I'm gonna demonstrate with the flip now, and you're gonna see that I mostly use my, the momentum of my kick to go around. And the same leg that go through is the same leg that you're gonna land. Okay, obviously you can switch, you can spin. But in this case, we're gonna just keep pushing that leg all the way through and strong leg. Don't keep your leg loose. So you've got a lot of momentum to go around. Now let's see with the whole move. Nice guys, that was the spinning kick into Gumby, swing through, hope that helped. Please check out our other videos on the free run too. Subscribe, make your comments, any other help with any other tutorial, just drop us a message. Peace out.